with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with a very exciting package that has traveled a very long way from Turkey. Yes, it is my first Galen leather purchase. It will not be my last, I can guarantee that. So let's go ahead and unbox this really, really exciting package. So I've already cut it open. So there's the two boxes and this very cute pouch. So let's put this to the side. Firstly, I do want to say how quickly this came from Turkey. I ordered this on May 7th. It was shipped on May 10th and it arrived yesterday, May 16th. So it was very, very quick. Uh, it arrived via FedEx and I did have to pay customs. So I paid $30 and 48 cents uh, Canadian in customs before it was delivered to me. So just so you guys know that uh, for the future. All right, so the first thing that I think all orders get now is this cute little pouch. It used to be a drawstring pouch, but I think it's now the uh, zipper pouch. And it says Galen Leather Co. Uh, brand of stationery celebrated for quality and ingenuity. So I love that. And this company was established in 2012. If you're not familiar with their story, I definitely recommend looking on their website. It's such a wonderful story for how this company came about. A bit of a sad story, but it feels like one of those... Um, come out of the ashes type of a company. So in this package you get like this note from the Galen team that talks about how each and every Galen product is unique and just get this handwritten letter, obviously this printed handwritten letter um, talking about the the founder of the company how she found this company because of a chronic illness that kept her from speaking so she started working with leather products um, over time the company grew and fortunately the owner uh, passed away in 2019 but the legacy lives on in her son and uh, the her brother I think as well as going on with the business so that's just a lovely story and then with the order you also get this postcard I love this postcard it looks so just antique and then a little note in the back that says don't feel lonely the entire entire universe is inside you and it looks like it's written with blue shimmer ink Next, every order gets this evil eye charm. This is called a nazar. Please forgive me if I'm saying that correctly. Basically, in Turkish culture, it's an eye-shaped amulet believed to protect against from against the evil eye. So when this actually breaks or when the charm breaks, that means that evil or that bad luck has been taken out of your life. So that is what the charm looks like. I'm excited to find something to put that on. And then you also get some of these Turkish treats. So you get these refreshing hand towels, a black label tea. I wonder what this is. I wonder if it's what kind of tea this is. Just says black label. And then Turk, ooh, you know what? I'm going to have this right away here. Um, I haven't had coffee yet this morning. And I say this morning, it is 10 to 12 while I'm filming this. And yeah, I would be definitely having that. So those are some lovely freebies that come with every order. So let's put that to the side. I love the personal touch of that. I think that just says a lot about the company, about the, the freebies that they include. But it's not about the freebies, it's about these two boxes here. So this first box, I just have to say, packaging for me is everything like in my shop I'm very minimalistic about my packaging um, because I think for me it's more about the stickers than anything but for this company I'm definitely going to keep these boxes going forward because I think they just they're just beautiful so the first thing that I ordered ta-da is the old school molded pen case for five pens and this is in the distressed brown leather so let's put this to the side here and I'll put details of this below uh, including the pricing because I can't remember off the top of my head here but what I love about this is the clasp here just makes it look old school there's no key obviously for it but it's just a beautiful clasp and just listen to that noise it's not a noise it's the sound 
Oh, I love that. And I just love the look of it. The stitching of the leather is absolutely meticulous and beautiful. Now the leather itself, it's distressed. It's not all, It's not a very hard leather as well. You can see by the way the flap is, it just lays flat just like that. But also if you look at the structure of the main body, there is some softness to that leather. So it's not hard in any way, but it's been molded into that shape. And then inside the pen case, there comes out this little pen tray that has these dividers in it where they've actually taken, it looks like the piece of leather and cut lines across. You can barely see that. You can see the attention to detail where they've tried to make that blend in and put these dividers in for the pens. So I purchased this particular pen case specifically for my currently inked pens. This pen case will basically live on my desk. So I'm gonna show you how it fits my currently inked. So let's put that back in here, but let's, I'll show you how it fits the Twisby Diamond 580, the Lamy Safari. I'm a little bit worried about that, the pen loop there. So those are like two of my biggest pens. Then you got the Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo, I feel like this one is a bit narrow for it, so it'll probably move around in there a bit. And then you've got my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This one's quite small, so you can actually push that down quite a bit further. And then an, another size reference, the Estabrook JR Fantasia. So I'll put that all in here. And again, click. It fits in there so nicely. It's such a beautiful classic case. And I mean, this isn't going to travel anywhere really with me. I, I don't really take my fountain pens out of the house. Um, but the one thing that I am concerned about this is if you look on the side here, there is a little bit of room between the top of the case and where some of the tops of the pens are. So if it is a smaller pen, there is the risk of it just moving and shifting within the pen case. So let me see if you can hear this. you can hear the pens moving around in here. So I would be afraid of some of my smaller pens actually falling out of this case. But otherwise, for keeping this at home, it's actually a great, great case. Oh, I love that. So if you wanted to, what I would actually be doing, see, my, my JR has fallen in there. I would probably keep the pen case like this on my desk. Oh, that looks so, so pretty and so classic. So that is the old school molded pen case for five pens. The next thing I have here is a bigger box and I'm really excited about this. I haven't seen too, too many reviews or unboxings of this particular product. I do see more of the uh, A5 leather folio and I wasn't really interested in that particular product just because I keep my Hobonichi at home pretty much most of the time. I don't travel outside with it too, too often. But what I learned from having the Moterm is that I really like a flat surface on either side of my Hobonichi for easy writing. So it just made sense for me to purchase the A5 Slim notebook cover. And this is the Crazy Horse Smokey. I decided to go with this because while I loved the Crazy Horse Brown and the tan, I don't know, there was something about Smokey that I thought it just looks so different and you can already smell the, <laughs> you can smell the leather. like shoes, but you can already see how it is wearing down and it adds that character the more that you use it. So basically it is, oh, let's move this to the side here. So with this particular cover, this part, it feels like this leather is a little bit stiff on this side here, but generally it actually is not too, too stiff, not too hard. And what I like is that you'll be able to slip your Hobonichi uh, covers in here. If you want to add some stickers or decoration on the side pockets, you certainly can. I don't normally. I like to keep it very, very uh, simple and minimal minimalistic. One of the things that I do love is this pen loop, just making sure that you guys can still see. So this pen loop is actually cut from this piece of leather, but what they've done is they've added elastic here to be able to put in a larger pen. So I'm going to grab my Twisby Diamond 580 and put that right in here. And you would think it wouldn't fit, but because of that elastic, you're able to kind of push it in there a little bit more. And the clip 
there. Like how beautiful does that look? I love that. So before I even get that in there, I'm going to go ahead and put in my Hobonichi Techo. So this is the um, Avec. So this is only January to June and you can already tell it's pretty chunky. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So the color of this is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's showing up darker on the camera, but it's this beautiful gray that already has markings on it from just the way I've handled it, trying to put my Hobonichi in there. And like you can see, the stitching is done very, very well. I'm looking forward to seeing how this wears over time with use. And then with this particular one, obviously there's, I won't put anything in here. I like to keep it quite, I won't even say plain, it's just, simple and flat so it'll be easy for me to write on and then the back cover going in there some of the leather fibers have come off but one of the things is people are wondering does this lay flat and I will show you not really when you first open it you actually kind of have to push it down a little to get it to lay flat but then it adjusts again when you close it so at first when you lay flat there is that excess but all you have to do is just push it down lightly and then it does lay flat beautifully. So I absolutely love this. And then when you put the pen in there, let's see how well that's gonna close without really affecting the tabs that I've got. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. It'll be really nice as well once I get my um, my July start evac and seeing that get all chunky within this as well but oh my gosh I'm absolutely love in love just with the simplicity of the the uh, slim notebook cover just the beautiful color and I'm just excited to see how that le leather is going to wear over time so the pricing for this I've actually posted it or I'll, I'll put it up as well but I just I absolutely love this I am actually tempted to buy this in the other colors as well just so I have one in every color for every season you know who knows all right so there is my overall Galen leather haul. I'm actually really really happy with these two pieces and I do believe I'm probably going to order more sometime in the future. Possibly a notebook with the leather or just another leather notebook cover for the Hobonichi. I don't know. I've been watching Galen leather hauls quite a lot recently and there's many that are catching my eye. I'm trying not to buy everything all at once here. All right, but that is everything. If you guys are interested in ordering from Galen leather and you haven't before, there is a link below in the description for 5% off your first order. Um, and then if you have any questions about anything, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.